Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today, it's going to be a match between Last and Terror here on Circuit Breakers. This game is from Team Liquid's forums. A good place to find replays if you know how to search for them. Uh, I wish there was a replay repository for Team Liquid Brood War, but um, if there is one, I haven't found it yet, so... Anyway, bottom right-hand corner, we have the blue Zerg player. It is Terror. Under his well-known Smurf name, 1A, 2A, 3A. And on the top side of the map, on the left side, we have the purple, ter er, purple Terran player. It is Last. Hmm, excellent. This is a meeting between two elite players. Okay, Last is an elite Terran player. Probably the best, well, among the best two or three Terran players in the world. And... Larva is maybe top four among Zerg players today. So, let's see what they're going to do. <laughs> Supply Depot, Overlord scouting the wrong way. What's up, Terry? How are things? <laughs> ah, yes, translates to things are fine. You know, I'm not finding any Terran. No one's shooting at me yet, so honestly, I can't really complain. That's another Overlord, so at the very least it's going to be an Overpool here, or like a 12 hatch. And the drone's moving out. I don't know if this is... No, actually, whoa. Is this a 11? Okay. <laughs> the drone's popped. I was like, this is a 9 hatch? I don't think that's a thing. Yeah, so 11 hatch here, and uh, 12? Whatever, it's fine. It's around the same thing. 12, hatching it, etc., etc. Barracks coming up at home. No sign of a proxy. Here from last at all. We don't get enough proxies. I need to... Man, I, sorry. I keep forgetting. I fully intend to do, do another Brood War cheese compilation for y'all, but I just forget to toss a bunch in a folder and send it off to my screeners and get the best ones for you. That's entirely my fault. I am sorry. I'll do better. Uh, we'll make it the New Year's resolution, right? That we get a Brood War cheese compilation in the month of January. How about that? Keep me honest, guys. <laughs> I have three brain cells because I've got three kids and a full-time job and two YouTube channels that I'm doing and I'm trying to play through Cyberpunk and uh, I'm a very busy, very busy human being. And it's kind of nice. I'm not going to complain. It's better than being bored, I guess. Let me just tell you, I have some kind of a unicorn experience with Cyberpunk. I have not heard from or talked to anybody who has as good and smooth an experience with Cyberpunk as I have had. We're not going to talk about this a lot. But I am running it with a 2080 Super RTX from NVIDIA, which we're not going to get into that. Drone does scout, find out where the Terran player is. He is just pumping those Marines and expanding himself. Um, but yeah, I mean, every, okay, here are my biggest problems. Every once in a while, right, my ability to jump goes away. I just have to save my game and load my game and it's fixed. Okay, annoying, whatever. Um, every once in a while, somebody will get into a car in a weird way that looks messed up, but that doesn't really break the game at all. Uh, what else? There is a mission where you're in a, what's called a brain dance, which is basically just you looking at someone else's memories. And there's a part where it needs you to go to the next section, but it doesn't tell you what the button is. So I had to Google that and figure out what button it was. Okay, so that is a bug. Obviously an annoying one that I had to Google and find the answer for. That was really annoying. But like, that's it. It's It's been so good for me. I don't know if I got some incredibly lucky copy. I don't know if it's lucky that, you know, these things aren't getting in here at all. It's a nice marine wall. Another one shows up. SCV's body blocking a little bit here. Command center's gonna finish. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I've had the luckiest experience. I put about 60 hours into it so far, and it's been my gaming experience of 2020. It's been so good. SCV is doing a manor transfer down here, too. They can body block if necessary. If the Lings want to jump on this, I don't think they do. Speed's not researching at all. There's a lair coming in. Okay, they jumped in. I don't know if this is a good trade. Hold on. If you get scouting in there, that would be really good. And... Oh, he didn't go for the scout. Huh. So he traded all of his lings for all of those marines. I, You know what? He killed all of the marines there. They're 50 minerals each. Each ling is only 25 minerals each. I'd say that was a good trade. From Terror. I think that was a decent opening. Another barracks here running. Academy coming in from the Terran. Lair there. Do we have a second? We do have a second gas on the way. So this is going to be a pretty heavy investment into Mutalisks from uh, terror as far as I can tell so anyway I don't know what it is like I've 
I can't really defend the game because, again, I've never talked to anybody who has had a similar experience as I have in it. It's very strange. Also, the ray tracing is so pretty, you guys. I just... They've got an actual sun in the game, and it moves through the sky throughout the day. And as light hits different things, it creates shadows, it creates reflections. I... It's an incredibly, incredibly immersive game. I just watched Yahtzee's review of it from, uh, gosh dang it, what's it called again? Punctuation. I can't remember what it's called! It's punctuation something. Anyway, and he's like, yeah, I, it's really immersive, except that bugs keep showing up as the spire comes up here for terror and taking me out of the immersion all the time. And I was just like, that is entirely fair. I totally understand where you're coming from. I don't know how I'm fine here. This is Terror's investing a lot into early lings today. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, fire bats showing up just in the nick of time. Look at that fire bat showing up. He's like, that's right. That's right. You get out of here, you no good zerglings. <laughs> it's just, okay, maybe one day they'll fix the bugs and then you guys can play it and have the same experience that I have. I don't know why. It's just, it's the writing, the characters. Well, <sighs> Okay, I'm just going to tell you one more thing and then we'll talk about the game. This has just been a very standard CVT opening. With the exception of Terror investing a lot into Lings in the early game and not expanding to a third base quite yet. Uh, it is really scary doing that until you have Lurker tech. So I understand he's making his Mutalisks. Eight of them are on the way. Last is a good Terran player, so his turrets are on the way now. In fact, they are. And then he'll expand. He's like, the Mutas will keep the Terran at home for a while. That'll give me time to get Lurker Aspect researched. There we go, getting started. We'll put it at the top of this ramp, and we'll call it a day. But there's just a mission where this, like, you know, wealthy, well-to-do couple, the husband is running for mayor of Night City, where you are, and he says that he ran into an armed invader in his house one night, and that he needs you to figure out who it was. And then it just turns into this incredible experience. <sighs> I don't know how to explain it. There's a... Yeah, you should just play it one day when it doesn't suck. That's all I got for you. Okay, so Muta's here trying to get some damage done. We are pumping out Marines like there is no tomorrow. That Marine count is really heavy. Plus one attacks on the way for those guys. I don't know if the Mutas have any angles to get. There's two turrets at the natural base. The main base has got four turrets. And maybe another one? Not nope, just a supply depot. So the contain is looking pretty good for the Zerg player right now. He's got his third base coming up in peace. We got uh, drones transferring. We got a Hydra. Hydra's slow walking their way up here, turning themselves into lurkers. The Mutas are playing the stacked Mutalisk pickoff marine game, which is very hard to play and very APM intensive, but Terra's capable of making this work out to his advantage. Additionally, if he had more Lings available, you can finish off this group with some really nice micro picking off the Marines around the edges, right? And then Ling's coming in for the coup de grace, like the last one. The coup de grace, uh, it's not C, the C is silent, right? Coup de grace, I believe is how that works in French. Anywho, that is a very quick hive, man. That is a hive before your third gas has been started, but he knows. He knows this is a super bio play, and as soon as you can get Plague and Dark Swarm out, the better against this particular strategy. If you don't have those things, your lurkers are not as good. You want sunken support, which is exactly what we're getting. The Mutas are... We're playing the game. It's a fun one, that's for sure. How many Marines can we kill? Yeah, but happy Saturday. Happy 2021, everyone. I'm actually casting this on December 31st. So, hello from the past. From the year 2020. Man, 2021. The years just feel more futuristic as time goes on, don't they? Remember the year 2000 feeling incredibly futuristic? I graduated from high school that year. I'm very old. Uh, like 2020 sounded really futuristic. 2021 sounds even more so. I don't know why. But, uh, anywho. I'm going. Man. Oh, nice catch. Nice catch here from last. Loving it. So he's just doing the six racks of Rooney, man. With science vessel support. He's got four racks now. He's going to get a third base and a couple more racks. Obviously getting upgrades for his bio. Again, viable strategy. I haven't seen any comments recently, but once in a while there used to be a lot of comments that are like, Why didn't the Terran transition into mech? That's how you beat Zerg. It's the only way to do it. Untrue. Very untrue. This is looking pretty intimidating from last. He's up 103 to 80 total supply. We're getting into the moment. 
where the Zerg player really need, needs to start getting ahead. Oh, is this a trap? It gets scanned. It's not a good trap anymore. And then you jump on it. See, look at this. You come at it from different angles, and the Lurker Spines are not as scary. If you're all lined up, yes, they'll kill you. But if you spread it out in a fan position, right, in a concave, then you can kill those Lurkers. This is interesting. It is a rush. That Defiler Mount is not done yet, which means Consume is nowhere ready to go, which means this timing push from last... Man, I think Terror might have invested too much into the Lings in the early stages of the game and delayed his ability to get some of this tech out. Didn't kill enough of last to prevent him from making these pushes. Look at these Mutalists who just die. Look at him just die. And see, this is what I'm talking about. You got a Siege Tank. There's no Dark Swarm. This is a lot of Lurkers, though. And not really enough Science Vessels to break this. Scourge, though. Oh, last. Mm. That hurts me. I'm a Zerg main, but it hurts me when Terran players lose Science Vessels to Scourge and don't move them at all. Like, yes, the Scourge are faster than the Science Vessels. They'll catch you, right? They'll catch you if you're running, but at least run. Just stationary Science Vessels dying to Scourge is one of the... It just it hurts my soul. Overlord killed, not supply blocking terror. These poor mutalisks, they've seen a lot. They have seen a lot. Third base coming up here on the left side for last. Zergling here to try to mess with it, but this is why this little group of army is here. To save this SCV's life. How very nice of him. So this is buying time for Terror to get out that Dark Swarm. Right? Get that consume. Researched. Bunch of lings here for consuming energy. These guys get wiped out. All the mutas are dead, I believe. Unless he's got one for plagued, uh, plagued science vessels. Yeah, we're just buying time. This is not a winning strategy from Terror. He really needs to start consume dark swarming. There we go. There's your dark swarm. Excellent work. And another dark swarm is up. Lurker's getting inside that dark swarm. It does force last to pull back. That is... At an elite level of StarCraft Brood War, you see a Dark Swarm as a Terran, you pull back. Especially if you're Terran. That's what all the good ones do. If you try to stick around... Oh, is this a nice little attack here? Out of Terror? I'm not going to say no to that at all. Wow! Terror wipes it out. Looking great. But I guess he's got another army and another small army. And a scouting science facility for some reason. Man, you don't want to lose that. You still want to make science vessels, right? I'm fairly sure that's part of the plan. Another great Dark Swarm. Fire bats! Holding on the left side. The right side's still problematic. He really... I don't think you can expand here. Wow. Sure, there's a Lurker under this Dark Swarm, but it just got irradiated, and there's a cancel on the fourth. So it's three base to three base. I like what Last is doing here, man. His macro is through the roof. He has lost a couple armies, but... Oh, jeez, this group's in a lot of trouble, too! Terror! You're such a terror! You are such a terror! Man, these tanks are in a lot of trouble. Oh, reinforcing units coming in. In the form of a couple fire bats. I love that. Medics. Marines in the house. 1-1 one, one done. For the Terran. The Zerglings are sitting here at plus one armor. Nice irradiate. Oh, Scourge hit dead. Incredible. What? What's this little Ling attack coming over? Actually, some more damage done. Oh my gosh. The Lings, though. Oh, Last is going to lose his third. Also, Last forced to retreat from this top right-hand position. And he's not going to lose the third altogether because there are reinforcing units coming in to make sure that doesn't happen. But that's a lot of dead SCVs. But that said, it is 55 SCVs to 35 drones. So Larva not doing hot on the worker count aspect right now. That is not ideal for him. He's getting Plague. Excellent. He's getting all the things he needs, but he's not finding enough room to really drone up. Fourth base getting attempted again here. Once again, Lass is just sitting up. Sitting out with those tanks saying, hey, jump on in here. He should move the tanks up a little bit. Start firing on that fourth. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Oh, those Ling's just accomplishing nothing whatsoever. Getting some nice irradiates off. God, the Filer gets irradiated. At least cast something. Oh my gosh, another Scourge. Okay, well, second Dark Swarm. Overlapping the first one a little bit. Last is just being sloppy here, but he's up 150 to 84 total supply. He doesn't have enough army to defend this fourth. Look at this. Just running in. Recognizing there's a Lurker they can't really handle right now. This is, uh... You're kind of sacrificing a lot of Marines to make this go down. 
Trying to take the 6 o'clock base as well. There is a vulture down here causing some problems. A couple lurkers die. He really wants a fourth base because he wasn't able to kill this third despite the fact that it's currently on fire. Oh, coming down with a group of Marines. Last. Last is doing so well, you guys. He's doubling up Terror on supply at 15 minutes. It looks like with Adrenal Glands, with plus one attack, these Lings are going to shove this back a little bit. He's got a Defiler just sitting here doing nothing. Do you plague this? Yeah, he does plague the Science Vessel. It's not a great use of energy, but it's better than dying without accomplishing any kind of spell casting whatsoever. Look at this. Marine group down there. Bottom left hand base. Last. Look at last. Just non-stop macro. Completely spending his money effectively. He's at 65 workers. He's really kept so much pressure on this top right hand corner of the map in ways we haven't seen before. Nice play, Ooh! Nice play, Goo. Ling's jumping in again, fighting outside of the Dark Swarm is the best we can do. Two more science vessels go down. Terror has been so good at killing science vessels. Oh, another great play, Goo, all over these dudes. But they do get the fourth base. A Dark Swarm comes up. Everybody run. You're plagued, and there's lurkers in the neighborhood. Just back it out, y'all. Oh, but look at this number. It's four base to three base. Terror is on 35 workers. Again, he has been so focused on trying to break these contains, on trying to get a fourth base up, that he hasn't been able to drone up at all. This is, um, this is terror looking rather outplayed. Jeez, that was not good micro from last, though. He just lost so much, but he's still doubling up the supply of the Zerg player. It is still 162 to 84 total supply. I mean, not still, it's a different number, but it's the same ratio. It's a bad, bad ratio. Absolutely incredible, incredible match. This has been really, really excellently played from last so far. I'm telling you, last is a great... Oh my gosh. <gasps> he, he ran him away. He got one anyway. I think that was already, probably already plagued based on the one hit it took to take it down. Firebat count looking nice because guess what? No one's teching into ultras right now. Larva can't afford it on three bases. I mean, you can, I guess. But you're not also getting a bunch of lurkers, which is what we're seeing here. See, lurkers without Dark Swarm? Not as scary. Not as scary, if you ask me. This Overlord's been scouting for some time and has not been picked off. So he's happy about it. Is this Terry? This might be Terry the Overlord. This is really far across the map, and he must have gotten here early to not get killed during his journey. Nice play, Ooh, again! No, that skirt did not connect because it exploded red, which means it died without exploding its gases inside its body. I think that's what it's doing anyway. Lore reasons. This contained by last, though, he's never really left this quadrant of the map. He's doing much better protecting his science vessels, by the way. This is maxed out, though. This is an 18-minute maxed out Terran player. Look at the, the tanks on the high ground with the fire bats in there, too. No way. You're not getting up there. It's a good idea, Terror. I like it, but last was ready. Look at him throwing up a bunker. Here it is, third base, too. Oh, Scourge is trying to finish off these Plague Science vessels. Not working out for him at all. My gosh, the Lurkar Spines are so good. Terror desperately trying to hold on with 83 total supply here. Oh, spider mine hit. But just look at how, look at this big ball of purple, man. He's a big ball of purple. Lurkers are good against this, yes. But you got to get close enough to actually burrow in without getting irradiated or focused down by Marines before you can burrow into the spot you want to. There is actually no Dark Swarm here at all for this Lurker. Uh, this is, this is GG. I think we're just done. 198 to 85 total supply. Look at him engaging into these lurkers. Why? Why is he doing that? Oh, the fire bats getting some stuff done. All those lurkers died, though. That was a big sacrifice. And GG! Terror taps out. And last is your winner in 19 minutes and 50 seconds. 
That was just a shellacking. That was just last being like, you know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to make, here you go, seven barracks on four bases. Get another barracks down here. We'll call it, you know, extra production to spend that money. And we're just going to move across the map, set up contains, mess with the ability of the Zerg player to take a fourth base. Maybe we can't kill the third, right? Maybe that's not going to happen. But preventing the fourth base there and here at the 6 o'clock is game-winning stuff, man. Especially when you keep the Zerg player so preoccupied with their side of the map, they can't really counterattack, right? There were some attacks in the third base, didn't kill it. Attack down here at the fourth base, did not happen. Not even close. I don't, I mean, he did get those early Ling attacks at the main base, which uh, they traded well, but man, it's a lot of Zerglings. It's almost, it's almost for a Zerg player, if you're going to make that many Lings early in the match against a Macro Wing Terran, you better kill them or at least take down a base. If all you do is remove their army, they're ahead because they're going to have more economy than you because they didn't have to choose to use their larva, right? To use their larva on drones or on Zerglings. They have the buildings to continually produce SCVs and they have the buildings to continually produce Marines. That is just, it's the, it's the... Uh, not the golden rule it's just a rule of starcraft is what that always comes down to so dang excellent excellent match from last he was just laser focused he accomplished everything he wanted to do he did lose a bunch of science vessels really foolishly in the first you know 15 minutes of this match and then he just put it together man figured it out started pulling science vessels away letting marines take down those scourge a couple did die. They'd already been plagued. Hard to do there for sure. But man, he didn't really... I mean, he just, he just denied bases. He never really tried to push into the natural base at all. He never really pushed on the third base at all. He was just base denial. And Terra could not get him off of his front porch. Beautiful. Last. You're so good. 120,000 points here for last. 108,000 for Terror. Ended up out producing the Terran player, not as much as you'd want to, but again, this is bio strategy, so it's harder to do when there are, you know, eight racks on the field as a Zerg player to outproduce the Terran player pretty significantly when they're doing this strat. Uh, resources, we'll look at that one. Uh, you know, more gas mines, out mineral mined the Zerg player, you know, by 6,000 in 20 minutes, which is a lot, and then actually outspent the Zerg player, which, you know, it comes down to having 65 workers. Instead of 35, right? Yeah, instead of 35. that the, the worker count was massive. The bait count was massive. And the reason those things existed was because Terra couldn't take a fourth. Let alone a fifth. So beautiful job by Last gets that win. Terran fans rejoice. I finally found a replay where Terran wins. Excellent, excellent, excellent work here against a great Zerg player too. We've seen Terra... Just terrorize Terrans over and over again on this channel. I know I keep... Uh, it's hard to not call terror terrifying. It's just... It's dumb. <laughs> yeah. Alright, good stuff. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of Starcraft Brood War Remastered for the year of 2021. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. If you like what you saw and what you heard today, you can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself.